All right, I think we're rolling. Hey, this is Rob with Road Dirt, and uh, I'm at my friend Jake McDonald's shop. It's called uh, Flying Brothers Motorcycle Parts and Accessories. Um, one, he's a great guy. Just wanted to come see him. My man. Also, I did some damage to my bike the other day. Um, heading home from work, uh, was running down some back roads, headed toward the house. Took a corner a little bit too tight and too early and hit a pothole, a uh, pretty sizable one. I was looking through the corner, didn't even see this thing, it was my own fault, and did some serious damage, or at least uh, it looked serious to me when I finally discovered it, to my rear rim, got a little dent in the front. Take a look at what I did, let me see if I can pull it in here, so you can take a look at this, what I did to it. Check that action out. Man, gave it a nice big dent. Well, my friend Jake thinks he can take some of that out. So we're going to get, the, we're going to get it off and uh, see if we can kind of straighten that up a little bit. Strangely enough, it never broke, broke the bead or anything, so uh, I was able to ride it here. So let's see what we can do with this. So Flying Brothers is a really cool shop, man. I'm digging the old uh, nostalgia. A lot of racing. They cater to uh, a lot of dirt bike racing, supercross, motocross, things like that. But Jake and crew will work on a little bit of everything. And say hello to Charlie. What's up, Charlie? So, yeah, Jake's going to. Try to get the rim, going to get the rim off, heat it up a little bit. He told me that um, rims are generally aluminum, so he thinks he can put heat to the inside of it and um, maybe take some of that out or as much as possible. So we'll see. Well, upon closer examination, uh, my friend Jake um, got a better look at the rim once we got it up on that rack at his shop. and. He was um, understandably a bit reluctant to uh, try to see if he could tap it out. Turns out we had a little bit of a bend, not only um, in the uh, a dent in the outer lip, but also in a portion of the flat part on the interior. I'll show you in just a second. Um, so while I was, we we went to work, and he he found uh, we found a couple of places in the Atlanta area that uh, specialize in truing rims. And uh, one of them was a place over in Marietta on the other side of Atlanta from where I live called um, Metro Wheels that um, I gave them a call, took it actually home with, took the, rode the bike home with me and then gave them a call and they said, yeah, we've been doing rims for about 30 years. We've done plenty of motorcycles over the years. So uh, we'd like to take a crack at it. So I'll give you, I'll let you take a look at it here. Check us out. So I actually got the wheel off and, uh, and and then brought it back over to uh, Jake, take a look at it. It actually was bent, not only right here, but on this portion right here. And uh, what I'll do is I'll spin it around so we can get a better look at it down here. It actually, let's get it in the light. There we go, you can actually see where it's it's uh, bent, the dent is right there, is on this inner lip right here, which is why he understandably was reluctant to try to hammer on that, put, put heat to it. But the people at Metro uh, Wheels said, as long as it's not near a, a spoke, which it's not, and as long as it's not on this flat inner wall portion right here of the rim, they think they can fix it to within uh, like 0 0.0 tenths tolerance and uh, I inquired about all right um, this is not a billet aluminum wheel this is cast aluminum and does that make it more brittle and uh, more susceptible to cracking and they said in some cases yes but as long as we're not damaged on the inner wall which would explain why I don't get any kind of vibration or anything or feedback negative feedback when I ride it it didn't damage the actual shape of the wheel at all and the fact that it's not here and the inner side is the inner portion flat spot is uh 
portion is uh, not damaged, we should be in good shape. So the guys at Metro Wheels think they can do it. And when we're done with it, go, we'll uh, bring it to them probably in a day or two. And, uh, and then I'll bring the, the wheel and the tire back over to my, my buddy Jake. And uh, they'll, he'll remount it, rebalance it, make sure it's all tuned and everything. I mean, everything is true. And um, we'll come back home and mount it all back up. All right, we're over here in Marietta at Metro Wheels. And uh, these guys think they can true that rim of mine. So talked with Howard, their service manager, and he said, hey, bring it on. We think we can fix it for you. So here we go. Um, so my man Howard, Howard right here. Forest. How you doing, Howard? I'm not sure if I see <laughs> one. Like like We're going to... Um, Take a shot at putting it back on their machine and uh, proprietary, so we're not going to be able to go back there, but that's all right. And it uh, feels pretty good. They can make it happen. So it's in their hands. All right. Howard looked it over, felt pretty good about it. Said he thought, uh, give us about three to five days and uh, should have it trued. So uh, excited to hear from him. Excited to see how it turns out. So until next week, we'll come back for it.